Hello again from the milking room. Excuse my face, excuse my hair, excuse my everything, really. We have another friend that is not doing so great, so I decided to try to put together a short video to show you what happened. We're in the milking room, and uh, we're gonna be freezing tonight. So this is going to turn into hospital bed for this little one, who's really not doing so for another use for the milking room it's a little triage for the animals that need some extra help and this duck i think he got his mouth full of mud and got stuck somewhere so i am trying to have him dig or look in the water at the bottom so he can clear his, I don't know, nostrils. <laughs> I don't know what the proper name is. So he was all wet outside. I thought he was clearly gonna die, but apparently he just needed a little bit of cleaning. And that's what happens when you escape and then you don't have any water where you decided to spend the day, so. I'm trying to make sure that he's cleaning everything very well and he's able to eat and drink. He's very weak, so I'm going to try to wait until... Whoa, whoa, as you can see, yeah, it's very wobbly. So I'm not going to leave this here. I'm actually going to put it outside and with clean water. I'm going to dump this and put clean water and then... My friend is gonna spend the night, which I think he's feeling much better now that he was able to clear, which I call nostrils, those little holes that they have there. I think they were full of mud and he wasn't able to eat or drink. And now he's finally starting to clear them. But I just want to wait for him to make a few bubbles more in that water. And We'll see, hopefully by tomorrow, he'll be feeling a lot better. For tonight, he's just gonna hang out here with a bunch of straw and um, stay warm. I dried him with a hair dryer, so he should be okay. Huh? And even if he's gonna die, I just don't want him to uh, die here. I mean, die outside being cold by himself because I have to separate him from the rest and the rest are inside his house. So for today, the milking room is gonna be his house. And I already see improvements, so hopefully he's strong enough to hold on until tomorrow. Keep you updated with the saga, but if it's not one thing, it's it's another. I just would hate for him to die because he was being very naughty and um, going places where he shouldn't have been. It's water to see if he wants to drink some more. Let's see if he makes bubbles. Um, he started leaving the pen because he was staying inside because he was going to neighbor's house and he was kind of making everyone follow him. So that's how it started. Then eventually he started, instead of going to the neighbor's house, to go to the goat's pen. And that's where the problem started because I would put water for him since he was spending the days here with the girls, but he wasn't drinking from it. And so he was eating bugs in the mud and not cleaning his beak. So I think he's done. I think he wants to sleep. So you want to try once again before we go? Try to make bubbles? Come on, you can do it. Oh, there you are. Some bubbles are always good. But every time, well, I noticed something was wrong with him because he was very lethargic to, tonight. And it wasn't even me, it was my husband. Um, and then he, my husband told me, what can we do? So I dried him, well, he 
grab a towel, start drying him, and then I brought him inside and dried him with the hair dryer. So now he's nice and warm. I didn't want him to be cold. He was shaking. And when he was eating, he was kind of doing this but not able to swallow. So I'm going to take this off, put it outside. If he's really thirsty, he can go outside. But I'm not going to leave any food so he doesn't need water. As long as they don't have food, they don't need water. As you can see, he's very wobbly. And that's what happens when dogs don't drink water after eating. I'm assuming that's what happened. Um, we had a bucket outside. He could have had some water from the girls, even if he didn't like the container I put for him with water. But he decided not to. He wanted to go to the other side and he kind of got stuck here. So let me see if I can see any mud there. Let me see, buddy. Uh, let me see. You're kind of stronger already. I think you're gonna be okay. But when they're down like this, what happens is that the other dogs step on them and end up killing them by stepping on their necks or something like that. So let me remove the water and make it cozy for him to Worst sleep. Case scenario, he passed away in here being warm and clean and dried and um you know i just would hate for him to not only die but also be stepped on or something by his friends who really love him but they don't know how to deal with a sick duck or drake in this case so i made it really comfortable for him i put a lot of straw on the sides so he can be warm, just looking to put his beak there. There you are. And I'm gonna leave the water right there so he can see it. If he really wants water, he, he'll be able to step outside, but I don't think he wants any more water or food. He had a lot of food and a lot of water just now. So he is hungry, but he was choking on his food. So he wasn't really swallowing it. And I'm assuming that he, this has been happening for a couple of days. And I just noticed it today because now it's very noticeable. But, you know, that's just one of those things that you don't know what else to do. You just want to keep them warm and comfortable and give them time to get better. If he makes it by tomorrow, I'm still gonna keep him here. I'm gonna feed him, I'm gonna give him water, and I'm gonna keep him here on this, you know, until the point where he's getting out of this little, <laughs> this is what I use for the boys, to feed the boys, where I put the hay. So it, as soon as he starts getting out of here, then, I will let him go back with his friends, which sucks that he's separated, but he doesn't feel well, so he really doesn't want to be with anybody either, so. Oh, this sucks. Sucks, 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 but it is raining. We're gonna be freezing tonight. There are chances of snow, and the duck house is open on the sides. I'll show you in case you haven't seen it but um it's open on the side so i really want him to be warm and comfortable and i know he'll be here very comfortable and again if he ends up passing away at least we tried everything that we knew i gave him antibiotics just in case And we'll see. But I'm pretty sure it was the mud that he got stuck in his throat. And that he hasn't been cleaning himself properly. He is already doing better from like an hour ago. But he is tired. Uh, you can't see his eye. Maybe a little bit over there. He's trying to fall asleep. He's trying to put his beak here. In between here. So he can sleep. But... It's just too weak, so 
I wanted to make him a little nest. And now he has a little nest. And he can step out if he wants, but at least he's warm now. Hi, buddy. You try your best, okay? I'll see you in the morning. You'll be a strong boy now. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like things are gonna work out and they don't. But at least I've tried my best. I really don't want him to be cold. Really don't want him to be wet. And I just want him to be as comfortable as he can as he's trying to get better. Um, but even if he doesn't get better, I just feel like at least we tried and he's somewhere safe, he's somewhere warm. And um, keep you guys updated on what's happening soon.